good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I am going to talk about the weak interaction. Now in a previous video I spoke about the strong interaction and the strong interaction is uh, the interaction that only has hadrons involved with it and it happens within the nucleus of an atom. Now the important part of that is strangeness must be conserved. What I'm going to talk about today is the weak interaction. Now these are some notes about the weak interaction that the particles involved are either hadrons and leptons or hadrons decaying. And I'll talk about that in a few seconds, what I mean by that. The exchange particle, so this particle that appears, takes some mass and in this case some charge, and then gives it to something else and disappears, is known as the W plus or minus boson. An example here <coughs> is the uh, beta decay. So a neutron decaying to a proton, an electron and an anti-electron neutrino. And as you can see, that's got hadrons and leptons in it. So it must be the weak interaction. Strangeness does not have to be conserved and I'll explain that in a little bit. So let's take this for example and make sure it works. So I have a neutron going to a proton plus an electron plus an anti-electron neutrino. Remember what I said about neutrinos, they come in with their flavor. So for example, an anti-electron neutrino comes with an electron. So let's check my charge. I've got zero, plus one, minus one, and zero. Charge is conserved. My baryon number, I've got plus one, plus one, and these two are not baryons. Let's check my lepton. This is not a lepton. This is not a lepton. Uh, this is though. <coughs> and I know it's a normal lepton because that's electron in its normal state. This meant that there had to be something else. Now at GCSE, you may have only been taught up to there. So you may have been taught that a neutron goes to a proton and an electron and nothing else. But to conserve the lepton number, there must be an antiparticle there. But it mustn't have any charge and it can't be a baryon. It must be an anti-lepton of some sort with no charge. And the only one that has that is a neutrino. So it must be an anti-neutrino. If I then look at strangeness, none of these have strangeness. So in this case, it is conserved, but it doesn't have to be. And I'll explain why. It only happens with kaons. And more importantly, kaons decaying. This is where strangeness comes from, you see. When kaons interact inside the nucleus of an atom, they don't really decay. In fact, they decay slower than they were predicting. So scientists believe that something has to be conserved for this to happen, and this thing is called strangeness. When kaons were removed from the nucleus, they decayed. So it meant that under the weak interaction, kaons, when they're decaying, don't have to conserve strangeness. And I'll show you what I mean. This is a kaon plus going to a kaon naught plus a pion plus. Look at my charge plus one, um, okay, on plus, do apologise, plus one. That's conserved. We look at the baryons, none of them are baryons. We look at the leptons, none of them are leptons. But I'm now going to look at their strangeness. A K on plus has a quark composition of up anti-strange. And therefore, has a strangeness of plus one. And this is because of this strange particle. This pion does not have any strangeness to do with it. Remember, kaons are the only ones with strangeness. This kaon naught can have multitudes of quark compositions. It could be strange, anti-strange, minus a third, plus a third electrons 
equals zero. It could be down anti-strange, or it could be strange um, anti-down. This means this K on naught could have multitude of uh, strangeness values. This has zero strangeness. This one has a strangeness of plus one. And this has a strangeness of minus one. But all of these are valid. I could have it going from a strange anti-strange. I could have this decaying to a down anti-strange. I could have it going to a strange anti-down. And it will all be valid as long as it was the weak interaction. Because strangeness does not have to be conserved.